past year at Woodstock, we um, have been focusing on several questions in science and religion, uh, primarily because Woodstock is involved in the ethical questions of the day and in a wider range, um, I think, making this world a better place, a social transformation. And uh, we can't go forth today as persons in the world without taking science seriously as it informs us of the world. So three areas that we're working on. One is a research project on transhumanism. Uh, technology sort of governs our lives today. It patterns our lives. And more and more we're becoming cyborgs <laughs> and on our way to becoming maybe a new species, techno sapiens. As as the term is used. So we're interested in how technology is altering or shaping the human person today and our research team is looking at, at that from the point of theology and philosophy and the science of ecology. Um, what are we becoming as a human species? That's really our question. And where are we going as a human species? Um, how is technology either helping us to grow as a species or is it kind of pulling us apart into um, in otherworldliness? that is unhelpful. So akin to uh, transhumanism is our project on ecology, because ecology deals with the household of creation. It deals with relatedness. And uh, you know, if technology is, in a sense, forging an artificial relate relatedness in some ways, or is it? That's really our question. Um, we seem to be moving away from our connectivity to the earth. And this has been over the last several centuries, certainly since the Middle Ages. Uh, we know today from global climate uh, changes um, and other aspects of ecology, we're in a crisis. And from what climatologists tell us, um, the crisis is worsening. Uh, so the question is, you know, what kind of future does, do we have? I mean, what is the rate of sustainability? If we continue on as is without any self-reflection, deep critical reflection on where we are um, in this earth, what are our habits of daily life in terms of use of technology, in terms of our food eating pattern, uh, habits, our patterns of consumption, um, all, of these, all of these questions really focus on patterns of relatedness. Who or what are we related to? So in the fall we'll be hosting a forum on ecology and food with the question, are we eating ourselves to death? Which is meant to be, you know, sort of an enticing question um, that has many, many kind of ramifications to it. But really want to look at our patterns of consumption. Um, do we consume for ourselves alone? Are we a conscious of belonging to a web of life? Are we conscious that our food patterns actually have um, local effects and global effects um, on the poor around the world, on farmers. Uh, so we're looking at what does it mean to live with a sustainable local community versus our maybe more selfish needs to have you know fresh fruit throughout the year in the midst of winter, which has enormous ecological devastating effects. So ecology, um, in the sense of relatedness, is a theological concern as well. You know, it, it says we are related to God and to one another, so it's an important question. And then the question of transhumanism, and technology, and ecology really feed into the third, our third um, focus here in science and religion at Woodstock, and that's the question of evolution. Um, all good science tells us today we are in evolution. We come from a 14 billion year old universe, and you know, uh, as, as we go forth, it looks like we'll be going forth for billions of years, if not trillions. So what does it mean to live within an evolving cosmos? Um, that question, again, the evolutionary question relates to the ecological question because, you know, the, the, the cosmos, the, the oikos, creation, is not a background for human behavior. It is, in a sense, our sister and our brother. We come from the earth, you know, we didn't create the earth. So the question of evolution is important from many different perspectives. Um, one of our fo fo focuses here at Woodstock is looking at evolution as the way God acts in creation. So uh, transhumanism, ecology, evolution are the three uh, 
main areas of interest um, as we pursue the interaction between science and 